I want to live in a world where girls dream of becoming technologists. I want to live in a world where girls create technology as well as consume it. And I want to live in a world where my four-year-old daughter thinks that anything is possible and no, no career is off limits. But this is not our world. Our world. The technological world is alienating our daughters, our nieces, our girls. Only 17%, one seven, of the technology workforce is female in the UK. In Greece, it's even less than 15%. In the US, it's 22%. Now, those stats are shockingly bad, but the real problem here is that they're going down each year by, on average, 0.5%. Now, that means by 2043, if we continue at the current trend, there will be less than 1% of our technology global workforce will be female. Now, that's the workforce, but who's consuming technology? More women than men bought smartphones in 2010. Twitter's global audience now is 57% female. And guess what the largest growing segment on Facebook is? Women. So women want to consume technology, but they don't want to create it. Now, why is this? And the reality is, the next Mark Zuckerberg is unlikely to be female. So, the biggest issue is the image problem. We know this because we spent time in schools and we ask girls to draw, and boys, to draw their perception of what somebody who works in IT looks like. This is what Lila <laughs> thinks. He would be old and his hair would be overgrown because he doesn't care what he looks like because he just cares about computers. Now, Christina here in Greece, she shares a similar perception to Lila. He wears glasses due to bad eyes because of too much computer use. <laughs> there is one glimmer of hope, because Ephithymia in Greece, she drew a woman, the exception to the rule. Out of everyone we've asked, we've never had anyone draw a woman when asked their perception of who works in IT. So there's a glimmer of hope in Greece. Woo! <laughs> but the serious point is that girls do not aspire to these images. Girls' perceptions of people who work in technology are that they are pizza-guzzling nerds who cannot get a girlfriend. We need to shatter this perception. Now, another major problem is how we treat our girls when they're very young. I also, I mentioned I have a four-year-old daughter, I also have a six-year-old son. And my husband will often say to my son, let's play an hour of Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft is an online game, a bit like Lego, very good at computational thinking and analytical thinking. But he'll say to my daughter, um, let's go and watch My Little Pony for an hour, which is a cute um, American animation. So the point is, we are perpetuating these stereotypes when we're not even conscious of it. The stereotype is that boys fix, boys create technology, and girls consume it. We really need to encourage our girls to experiment and tinker with technology if they're going to be our tech pioneers of the future. Not only is it the parental perception, it's the way technology is taught in schools. The curriculum is uninspiring, dated, and dull. Do we really want our girls' first exposure of technology to be a spreadsheet? 
The real thing we need to do is inspire girls and make it relevant. Some of the things we're doing in the UK are using Raspberry Pis. We are looking at wearable technology, looking at ways to really make technology relevant to girls' lives. Now, compiling spreadsheets was fine when being um, a secretary was appropriate and one of the few career choices out to women. But we want our women to have all the career choices possible. We really need to revolutionize the way technology is taught in schools. Now, that's 17% that do make it into the tech industry, despite the parental perceptions, despite the image problem, and despite the way it's taught in schools, the 17% of women who get there often feel alienated and isolated when they're there. 40% of women who are in the tech industry leave after 10 years. They describe themselves as lone wolves. It's not that the technology industry doesn't want these women, it's often, when they get into the industry, they're made to feel unwanted. Professor Simon Baron-Cohen in the UK is a gender and psychology expert. He talks about the systemizer brain and the empathizer brain. The systemizer brain, what he calls as more likely to be the male brain, is the brain that intuitively figures out how things work. It's very systematic, it's very logical and analytical. The empathizer brain, which tends to be more female, is a brain that intuitively knows and thinks about their reaction on somebody else. Now, because the systemizer is dominant in technology, so 85% 85, 85 of people who work in technology are, are systemizers, or tend to be, that systemizer culture dominates. So the environment is often one of systems and processes and hierarchy, and women don't always flourish. Now, there has never been a more important time, given that 50% of the people using technology that are women, is to get that empathizer, that humanity, skills into technology. But what can we do? to change things. In my book, Little Miss Geek, I've got a 10-point manifesto, which is all about practical actions that we can do to change things. One idea is what we're doing in the UK is a female hero program, where we are bringing some of the most influential women in technology to the classroom. So girls are inspired by them, and more importantly, girls want to be like these women. Another idea is the mum returner scheme. So mums that have been in the technology industry, they've had their last child, how do we accelerate their career, get them back into the industry in a way that works for them? Now, our challenge is big, but it's in our hands. I am asking parents to change the way we encourage girls to create technology as well as consume it. I am asking schools to revolutionize the way we te teach technology in schools. And I am asking companies, commercial business, to put your energy, your resources, and commitment to making sure that the technological world is not dominated by men. To invest in women is smart economics. To invest in girls is smarter economics. Let's inspire our girls to be pioneers of the technological world, our world. Thank you.